I'm Sir Tap Tap, and it occurred to me that not everybody really is totally aware of how these whole events in Abyssrium go, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a tutorial on generally how events go. So this is the anniversary event, but all the events are pretty much the same thus far. What happens when an event rolls around is that you get an extra little tab here during the event. Uh, it only works online. And there's this currency that's different every time, but the amount is stored between events. So like, if I kept these 41,000 uh, cakes, and then say if the next event were a Halloween one, it would turn into Halloween candies, and then I could just immediately spend those. Um, so every time there's an event, you can create a new fish um, using only the event currency. You don't have to save up Vitality. You don't have to stop buying fish in order to do the event. It's actually completely separate from Vitality. Um, you just use a certain amount of uh, cake to create uh, the fish. Also, you can create fish with gems. Do not do that. Do not ever do that. I'm actually a little upset that's even an option. Because you see this 300 cake uh, and 240 gems. That's a lot of gems, right? Well, is cake really that rare? Well, as you can see here, I get 25. I have maximum Song of the Moon, so I get a bit more than you'll probably get. But, um... <laughs> 25 cake is 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 nothing or 300 cake is a very small amount 240 gems is a very large amount never it's always an extremely bad idea to spend gems like it's not even possible to get all of the things through gems anyway because look at 16,000 gems for the cake whale um, and you actually need five of that for this event so how many how much money would that even be no shut up mystery chest not today um, that would be, that would be about, oh, here we go, that would be about $40 worth of gems uh, for a single cake whale. Uh, not worth it, especially not considering the cake whale is pretty bleh. Anyway, the way that events tend to work is that there's about maybe 8 to 10 fish that are in this list by default, sort of like the normal fish. And then there's a few hidden fish, usually four, and you gotta do things like watch ad to get cake. Um, Where's another one? Tap the upper right corner during Song of the Moon. Uh, it's Some of them are kind of wacky. Wear a candle hat and create a candle seahorse. Some of them are pretty strange. Uh, this is not a tutorial for this specific event. This is just kind of explaining how the general stuff goes down. So the best way to get candy, I have separate videos on this, but the thing is normally you get just one cake or one whatever currency uh, for each. Um, it basically replaces the, the hearts that appear above the fish. And uh, you won't get vitality for tapping that, but it does count for achievements and unlocks. It does count as quote unquote fish's vitality. Uh, but it starts off as one, and you actually get, for Song of the Moon, it multiplies how many you get. So, level one Song of the Moon, you'll get five pieces of candy. Level maximum Song of the Moon, you'll get 25 pieces of candy. Um, if you happen to have Spirit of Life, the thing that doubles your vitality, uh, which you can get free 10 minutes for every day just by sharing five pictures. Uh, you don't have to actually share them. You can just cancel the share and it still counts as a share in the app. Um, but yeah, so that way you can have double vitality and double uh, double cake earning. So I tend to, you know, take full advantage of that. And I, I, don't, I don't even personally bother at all gathering cake unless I have the Song of the Moon active. You can also watch an ad for cake or candies or whatever. Um... That's only 50, and which is, as you can see, I, I get 25 per thing, and at most, at most, that's only 10 clicks worth of cake. If you have level 1 Song of the Moon, that's still just 10 clicks, so it's really... The only reason to watch the free cake is, you know, if you're really low level, you're really aching for that cake-in, and um, more importantly, sometimes the hidden fish do require you to watch the ad. Um, as always, my guide, my written guide, just sirtaptap.com with, uh, just search Abyssrium. My guide is actually one of the first things. Just look for the sirtaptap.com guide. I'll always have any known, uh, event stuff. You don't even have to ask. Just look. I, I promise you, if we know it, it's there. Um, and also, something a lot of people forget. So, events also add new theme items a lot of people don't seem to know the theme items even exist because they hide them in this terrible little menu that's so easy to forget see as you can see the song of the moon disappeared so i only get one candy per thing um 
Also, I have jellyfish out because jellyfish are the ideal thing to get cake with, oddly enough, because they don't move around too much. If you don't have jellyfish, you can just use clownfish. Everybody has clownfish and they, uh, they work as well. Not quite as well, but good enough. Um, so yeah, every event, there's new themed items in here. And once you buy a themed item or a themed fish, you get to keep it forever. It's just the ability to buy it that's restricted to that one event. The game's never gonna steal your stuff. Um, so every time there's a new costume for the Coralite, you get a party hat and a little cake here for this one. Um, you get a coral die, which we got makes it look like a big old cake here for this particular one. Let's see, there's different ones just to show you. Um, and then you get a uh, theme, which is basically the background, the lighting, the Song of the Moon color effect, and uh, some of those are pretty neat. And um, I usually just buy those. Those are usually very cheap. Those are like 500 to 1,000 candies, which is like, you know, the price of a single normal fish. Um, the event fish do not affect vitality at all. You don't need to worry. Um, the, the, the event fish, well, they're, they're basically totally separate from normal gameplay. Um, no hidden fish requirements will ever require an event fish. And in fact, if it's something like, say that there's an event dolphin and you have a, a, an unlock for a normal fish that requires a dolphin, those event fish don't count. Event fish are basically totally separate. They're their own thing. They don't count for anything. They don't count for the thousand year old blue whale, uh, anything like that. In fact, they have their own tab which is partly why they have their own tab in Event Fish, or in Manage Fish here. Uh, so you can see all of these here. Also, as a note, you also, you can get past Event Fish if you miss an event. Um, there's a very small chance you can get them in, uh, in the Luck Shell things. Uh, and a lot of people don't realize, um, when you get, when you get uh, fish from the Luck Shell, it puts it in here into Event, into Manage Fish. Um, like a lot of people, I guess, just don't even go in here until they eventually find it. But uh, that's where they are. Um, what else? So yeah, each event has, like I said, about eight to ten normal fish, four or so hidden fish. Uh, this year or this event, we have these fusion fish, which, despite being fusion, do not improve your vitality at all. Uh, they're just basically extremely hard to unlock fish. They're very cute, but. Uh, they're a real pain in the booty to get, and uh, I kind of assume these are going to be a standard... I don't, well, I don't know, uh, but they're a new thing, and since we have farms now, I assume we'll continue to have baby fish for events. Um, there's also, whenever there's an event, there's also always one premium fish they add. Um, lately, they seem to have discovered that adding cute animals is their free ticket to money, so uh, the last time it was a scuba rabbit, this time it's a scuba corgi. Um, I'm guessing there's gonna be a scuba cats, maybe scuba, whatever other animals people like, scuba sugar gliders, etc. Um, they seem to have settled on ten dollars for the price of the limited event animal. Um, if you get a limited event animal, so any fish that you buy with real money in this app, um, it always goes into your fish list to buy with vitality. Um, they never take that away, but they, it does take away the effect of whenever you buy the event fish, it does double the cake. It doubles the event currency for that singular event. So that will go away once the event is gone, but uh, you get to keep your doggos and your bunners, etc. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, events events are confusing and frustrating for a lot of people when it, it, when they first come out. Um, so Abyssstream does this thing called a staged rollout, and what that means is that, say, on day one, they roll out the update to like 1% of people. And then all of a sudden people are reporting, oh hey, the update's out, and then everybody's like, no, I don't have it, what's going on? What have they done to me? Is my app bugged? No, no, nothing's, everything's fine. Um, then the next couple days, we'll get to maybe 50% of people have the, the update, and by the end of the week, uh, by the end of maybe five to seven days, 100% of people should have the app. Just leave your app on auto-update and don't worry too much about it. You can't really... It's completely random whether you get the update early or not. Um, and if you get the update late, your timer for the event actually expires that much later. So it's really nothing to worry about. It's stupid and frustrating, but there's nothing you can do about it and it doesn't really affect you too negatively. Um, Events end, so Abyssstream is extremely bad with communication, the Abyssstream devs. Um, we never know when the event is going to end. Everybody asks so much, and 
what usually happens is a week or two before it expires, they'll announce it. They're usually about three to four weeks. So you can expect a good amount of time to play it. Um, and there's always going to be a countdown at least two days before the thing. They'll start sending annoying push not notifications to your device and you'll see a little timer in the top right or top left here, whatever direction that is, and uh, it'll say, you know, X days remaining. And uh, you just have to try to make sure to get through everything. There's no particular reward for getting 100% of the event fish, and even more annoyingly, uh, you can't even get this event fish tab to 100% unless you buy the paid one. I think that's really rude. Uh, personally, I think the paid event fish belong in the package fish, which is the premium, you know, things you pay real money for. Thing. Cause like I have 100% of the event fish. Well, I have. I'm only missing this baby sperm well because it requires 100,000 candies. Not kidding. Um, but I have everything else, but it doesn't count because the freaking package fish. Frustrating. Anyway, um, that's pretty much what there is to know. Um, there's really nothing too fancy to do with events. Uh, the 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 whole. You know, using Song of the Moon to properly gather the amount of candies. That's really, that's really the main thing. And uh, just don't panic. They usually last a pretty long while. And uh, definitely don't spend gems. Uh, that's pretty much all the hints I have for you. Um, just as a note, some people occasionally mistake me because of my name, which has been a thing for far, far longer than this game. Uh, some people confuse me for like being one of the developers or something because, you know, Tap Tap, Sir Tap Tap, Tap Tap Fish. I actually hate that name, and not only because it kind of infringes on my name. Um, but no, I don't, if you buy things in the game, I don't actually get any benefit for that. If you do want to support me in my guide, I have a patron on, uh, it'll be in my, it's in the top of the video description. Uh, I also have links to other ways you can support me on there, you know, if you want to send on PayPal or whatever. But, uh... If you want to support me, or just sharing the guide, sharing my patron, whatever. Uh, there's always ways to help. But, uh, yeah, that's how events go down. Uh, enjoy the event. Try not to break your fingers. You do have quite a long time if you're just starting an event. Uh, you usually have, like I said, three to four weeks, uh, which is usually plenty. If you, It depends on how actively you play, but you've got at least, you know, three to four weekends, which is usually a pretty good amount. And just remember, don't spend too much time clicking these uh, cakes unless you've got Song of the Moon up. It really, it, it just barely matters unless you have Song of the Moon. Well, Sir Tap Tap signing off. Happy uh, candy collecting, everybody. <laughs>